Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about interaction and significance of subatomic particles. This will be the second quarter topic, week 2 and day 3, and this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to describe the crucial role that nuclear forces play in holding the nucleus together, overcoming the repulsive forces between the protons. The second one is to actively participate in the demonstration and analysis of atomic nucleus models, observing the arrangement of protons and neutrons and discussing their impact on stability. The third one is to exhibit a sense of appreciation for the fundamental rule that subatomic particles and their interactions play in the behavior and properties of matter by answering the guide questions. For the explicitation, the teacher will demonstrate the electrostatic attraction by getting two magnets. So if not available, just let the students imagine magnets that either pull towards each other or push away, depending on their charges. After the demonstration, the students will answer the following questions. For the first question, why do you think electrons do not crush into the nucleus despite their attraction to protons? And the possible answer is, electrons are kept in orbit by their energy and the balance of forces. And for the second question, how might these forces affect the stability of an atom? And for the possible answer is, balanced forces keep the atom stable and imbalance can make it unstable. And for the third question, what might happen to the nucleus if there were no neutrons? And the possible answer is, without neutrons, protons would repel each other, causing the nucleus to break apart. And for the fourth question, why are these forces crucial for the nucleus? And the possible answer is, nuclear forces keep protons and neutrons together, ensuring nucleus stability. For the work example, using a model or diagram, show the forces at play within an atom. So explain how electrostatic forces keep electrons in orbit and how nuclear forces hold the nucleus together. So when discussing particle stability, explain how protons and neutrons contribute to the nucleus stability and discuss what would happen if this forces were not balanced. After the teacher explained the diagram, the students will answer the following questions. For the first question, how do nuclear forces contribute to the stability of the nucleus? And for the possible answer, nuclear forces, which are the strongest fundamental forces in nature, play a crucial role in stabilizing the atomic nucleus. These forces act between the protons and neutrons within the nucleus, overcoming the repulsive electrostatic forces between the positively charged protons. The balance between the attractive nuclear forces and the repulsive electrostatic forces is what determines the overall stability of a particular nucleus. Nuclear forces are significantly stronger than electrostatic forces, allowing them to hold the nucleus together and prevent it from flying apart. For the second question, what rule do neutrons play in keeping the nucleus stable? 
And the possible answer is, neutrons play a crucial role in maintaining the stability of the atomic nucleus. Specifically, neutrons add mass and help balance the repulsive forces between protons in the nucleus. The presence of neutrons reduces the overall electrostatic repulsion within the nucleus which would otherwise cause the nucleus to fly apart. And for the lesson activity, the materials needed are the following. Models of the atomic nuclei, marker, whiteboard or chart paper, and worksheets for note-taking. And for the procedure, for demonstration, show models of different atomic nuclei such as helium, carbon, uranium, and discuss their stability. Use the models to illustrate how protons and neutrons are arranged in the nucleus. For the group activity, divide students into small groups and provide each group with different nucleus models and instruct each group to analyze the model, noting the number of protons and neutrons. Have each group discuss and record their observations about the stability of the nucleus based on the arrangement of protons and neutrons. And for the comparison and contrast, bring the class together and have each group present their findings. Compare and contrast the rules of protons and neutrons in maintaining the nucleus stability. Discuss how an imbalance, too many or too few neutrons, can affect the nucleus stability. And for the discussion on imbalance forces, discuss the implications of imbalance forces within the nucleus such as why certain nuclei are radioactive and tend to decay. Use visual aids to show example of stable and unstable nuclei and explain the concept of nuclear stability. And for the reflection, the students will answer the question, Why neutrons importance for stability of the nucleus? And for the research assignment, assign a short research test where students investigate real-world example of nuclear stability, such as why certain elements are used in nuclear reactors and others are not. 